Hello my friends, welcome at the Midrevna workshop. Today I will try to show you how to make something like this. It's a Kumiko guide block. This one is a 45 degree version with um, stop block on the on the top. So, uh, the the guide is uh, the the guide is made from beach species with brass screw on the top. The stop block is also made from beach. Okay, let's go. So the the first machine I will use is of course the table saw. Couple cross cut cross cuts and then we can try something more difficult uh, like you see the, the the board is quite uh, quite bent and uh, you must be careful with with these cuts because it can even stop the 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 saw and Next machine and next uh, work is on the jointer and like you see I'm using the pencil uh, just to mark that this side is completely flat. And now is another piece of wood. I'm not sure exactly what kind of species is but is exotic, is very hard and I decided to use it this species for stop block so it's one change and now thicknesser and i decided to cut it uh, on bandso because the thickness was about 25 millimeters and i need just about 10 so it's easy to cut cut it on two pieces and then and then we can jump again to the thicknesser and voila it's so easy so now i must spend here a couple minutes to get um, all these pieces really uh, really straight on both sides and now we can start work on the on the guides and i'm back on the table saw to cut all the beach pieces uh, on exact length and now it's time cut on the uh, 45 degree and be careful be careful because this small pieces like uh, fly on the on the workshop here it is the 25 degree but this piece will be uh, 67.5 and now the most difficult cut like you see i'm using uh, quite huge quite uh, huge uh, cutter block on the spindle rotor but the cut is exact uh, it's very clean and <laughs> but even the, the the cutter block is so huge this piece on the top uh, I must clean by by hand but it's easy it's easy and very fast so no problem and now the the most uh, important uh, hmm, work to get this groove inside the, the guide block but with this cutter heat it's so easy because the the dimension of it is uh, so large like you see is just 
one pass and it's done exact all the you know the angles is uh, very accurate is so clean so just one pass and it's done and now it's time to prepare the uh, stop block like you see it's a bit uh, too flimsy it's uh, still too loose so I decided to add about half a millimeter and correct now it's really perfect so now it's time to prepare the thicknesses of this stop block and I decided to that uh, it must be about half of millimeter higher than the guide block you will see on the end why now I can cut all the all the guides all the guides block on uh, 250 millimeter and next cuts is on the on the stop blocks and that's it I think with the table saw yes and now it's time to make uh, this very long groove on inside the stop block so I decided to use panther router and I think I will use the most clean and the f I think it's the, the, the fastest way to get a very clean very long groove that's it yes really really great machine now couple uh, couple couple how to say it couple minutes work on the uh, drill on the, and on the column drill now I'm using a uh, tap or screw tap screw tapper I'm not sure the, the exact word to get uh, tap inside the wood and it's time to clean a bit uh, edges so I decided to add a small chamfer on not maybe ever ever edge but most of them and uh, it's uh, it looks more hmm, premium and it's for sure uh, very very nice for your hands and now like you see brass screw with with the nylon uh, spacer now it's time to use uh, sandpaper just to clean a bit and that's it and another tool I will use uh, it's a small very cheap laser but with quite expensive and very good uh, laser laser head it's uh, from Opeta lasers and like you see now I'm using uh, now I'm uh, the laser is doing a very light fill and next pass is much stronger uh, outline line and it look like this okay so it's time to try this uh, guide guides at work first uh, first step I need just uh, cut one piece of this uh, hmm. how to say it in, in English okay I don't know sorry I don't know the, the words of this little wooden piece okay so I will try with uh, 22 point uh, five guide and on the first attempt I will use not chisel I will use a small small uh, dictum block plane is very handy and the, the mode 
is uh, nearly completely closed is very very accurate tool and of course it's it must be really sharp yeah and like you see when you're using uh, European um, European uh, planes the the piece is uh, in left edge close to the left edge and this the the guides okay it's done so now i will try to do the same work uh, but by uh, japanese kana plane traditional wooden finish plane and uh, of course uh, also the, the the blade must be really really sharp and the result will be exact exact the same yeah uh, the sharp point of this small wooden piece must be exact in the middle and here it is uh, uh, i i want to show that uh, you can use to to mount this uh, guide block you can use vice in the workbench or just a normal clamp or like this uh, vice clamp so it's really stead it's uh, it's not moving anywhere <laughs> when you using uh, this this type of uh, clamps and last work uh, i want to show you that it's uh, i don't want to use uh, planes I just want to show you that you can use even chisel of course must be really really sharp but you can use it maybe it's a bit um, maybe it's a bit longer uh, work uh, because you must uh, hmm. it's it's not maybe it because uh, the, the the chisel is not so wide so it's not really um, easy to 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 handle it but you can do, you can do this and like you see this small piece of wood is really good done okay thank you for your watching here it here it is my set thank you for your attention bye bye see you next time Thank you.